by the sudden collapse of an assumption. The so-called subprime mortgages were uh, without, many of them without collateral, people couldn't be expected to pay them back. And the assumption was somehow if you lump them together and securitize them, magically that is going to remove the risk. We all know the saying that there's nothing so powerful as an idea whose time has come. Well, another powerful thing on that list is an assumption whose time has passed. That assumption just went splat and things began to unravel. Now, in the midst of this uh, frenetic effort to find a, uh, a bailout, many are saying, we should have prevented this. We should have realized that the short-term greed was overcoming a, a clear vision of what the risk was. Well, now is the time to prevent a much worse catastrophe because the world has several trillion dollars in subprime carbon assets based on the assumption that it is perfectly all right to put 70 million tons of global warming pollution into the atmosphere every 24 hours. Since we met here last year, the world has lost ground to the climate crisis. We, we, this is a rout. We are losing badly. The water supply is partly held in the ice packs of the mountains and the glaciers. They're disappearing. Haiti was ravaged, Mr. President, by four hurricanes. And of course, the devastation came because the environment had been devastated with all the trees cut down. There are still people in Galveston waiting for water and food and medicine. A half a million people evacuated from their homes in California because of record fires. University of Tel Aviv just uh, published research showing that for every one degree increase in temperature, there will be a 10% increase in lightning strikes all over the surface of this planet. With drier vegetation in a warmer world and more dead vegetation because of the pests and beetles that are no longer held back by frost, the fires are out of control at record levels on every continent. The strength of the storms, the depth of the drought, the movement of tropical diseases into areas that never experienced them before. This is the result of a dysfunctional, insane global system pattern that we have to change. For the first time in all of human history, we, as a species, have to make a decision.